girl a running in a group. She had a high-speed motor in a 44 coupe. She had a racing cam and a supercharge. Look at Buddy Hotter, Rod and Large. She's a hot rod. She's a hot rod. She's my hot rod. AM 1420 WIMS Talk of the South Shore. Do you feel like Christmas is around the corner, Big George, or what? Oh, yeah, man. Christmas is here. I love it. Oh, yeah. This is a great time of year for everybody, okay. except for car salesmen. They don't make a lot, they don't make a lot of sales at Christmas time. Well, you want to know what? They need to, to do it a little bit harder. What separates them from the other guy? That's what I say. That's right. Work harder. That's Well, I don't know. They're, everybody's pretty much spending money on the kids rather than the cars. That's right. You know what? It, it's still a good time of year in the car business. And I'll tell you what, if anybody really was looking for a deal, Now's the time. Yep. Because they're, they're not selling anything right now, and they need to sell. That, that's, you know, they need their monthly quota. Well, and let's look at that. Uh, you Not only that, but you're at the back end of the year, and they're trying to, a lot of them are trying to get rid of, you know, some of the gently uh, more used models, some of the models from this current year to get 18s on the lot, and a lot of them obviously already have 18s. But, you know what I'm saying? So the deals and a lot of the prices are slashed. Oh, they're definitely out. They're out to less than that floor plan. By the end of the year. Yeah, absolutely. For tax purposes, you know, that's, that's important. Agree. So now we're into December, obviously, and you look at what's going on. We haven't had crazy snow yet, but I will tell you, you know how it is, Big George. <laughs> Tires well, and stuff. I, I know how it is by you guys. You yeah. guys get serious snow. Yeah. Here in Lansing, we get snow. You guys get snow. <laughs> yes. It's uh, pretty crazy between Northwest Indiana and Michigan. And, of course, a lot of folks live around the area, commute to Chicago or downstate to Indy or up through into Detroit or, you know, maybe even to St. Joe County or even South Bend. But, you know, one thing you got to do is you got to have your car and your truck ready to roll, don't you think? Oh, yeah. We, we're working on that. We're going to have – we did some of that a couple weeks ago on the show. We're going to do some more of that this Saturday. Plus, my Region Rides Magazine article awesome. has some stuff in it. This month, the December and November. All right, so we're going to be in good shape. Give us a sneak preview, Big George, of what is in the uh, magazine this month with uh, Big George, and of course our Region Rides magazines, which, by the way, we they fly off the shelves like hotcakes around here. Uh, I know, and I, they do everywhere now. The place is real, that, that magazine is really doing a good job. They, uh, I wrote this month. I wrote about buying a car and the reasons to buy one now, yeah. and the, and the way to do it though, the way to go about buying it. And to make sure it's ready for winter when you buy it. They should they should all be taken care of when you drive off the lot, new or used. Here's a question I wanted to ask you, George, when it comes to the oil change. And, you know, in our younger years, and at least in my younger years, it was, you know, adamant, beating over your head, 3,000 miles, 3,000 miles. Obviously, a lot of people with, I want to say newer cars are of the last, what, 8 to 10 years. I see a lot of my friends saying 5,000 miles. What's your thought on that, changing oil? Well, I'm, I'm old school. I'm like you. 3,000 miles was always my, my philosophy. And it is for my own car today, whether it's needed or not, is another question. Today's engines and today's oils, especially the new oils, synthetic blends, and it's really good stuff, high mileage uh, blends for cars that are high mileage. I mean, it's, you can go a little longer, but mm -hmm. I, I, I just, boy, I can't, I can't bite into that 5,000 mile thing. I just can't for the life of me. Maybe it's just because I'm too old school. Well, and you want to know what? I'm glad you brought that up because I kind of still go with that flow of 3,000 miles. I, I like it that way, and Obviously, you know, with my truck, with the miles I drive, it's it's great for me. So uh, well, the other thing is, Rick, I rotate my tires every time I change my oil. No. Yeah. Do you really? And there's a reason for that. Why? The only time that tires wear is when they're on the front, unless of course the rear end's been banged up or something and it's way out of whack. But if the rear end is in line and the front end is in line, they will still only wear in the front because you're steering with them. So wow. the more you get them off the front, the less you wear you put on your tires, you're going to keep them longer. You won't, you won't ever buy a set. Of, I have never bought a set of tires for one of my vehicles. All right, let me ask you this question. So I obviously drive, you know, serious amounts of miles, and I'm usually changing my oil twice a month or, you know, pretty much close to it. So are you telling me that you really feel that I should be rotating my tires every time I change my oil? For me personally, that's, that's a very interesting one. Huh. I think that, uh, you know, we should do that. 
maybe we should. Well, we'll we'll talk about that. Big George has got his show coming up this upcoming weekend right uh, here with WIMS AM 1420, the talk of the South Shore. It is Rick Federici, uh, you know, as we do that. So what is your feeling on that, Big George? Should I be actually changing my tires every time I change my oil? Because I'm doing it twice a month pretty much. Yeah, you're on the expressway. Yeah. It, I'm telling you, it's, it will never hurt. It'll be good. It'll be at least every other oil change. Okay, at so... At least. No, no more than that. Do most places that do oil changes charge you to do a tire rotation? It's a general question. I know some may, some may not, but what is your thought on that? Well, we, we offer it at my shop. We offer it as a package. At Unlimited Service in Lansing on Ridge and Burnham, we have a package. Thirty nine ninety five is a aesthetic blend oil change and our tire rotation. Wow, that's great. And and people, we, hit, we call it the club. And every, after four of them, the fifth one is a freebie. We throw the fifth one in. So then they start over with a new a new punch card. It's, it works out pretty nice for people, and my good customers are never ever going to buy a set of tires. Beautiful, I I love your input on that, and I think uh, that's valuable information not only for saving money but safety. How about now as we get into the winter months? You you hear the old adage about you know putting salt in the back of your truck or your vehicles. What's your thought on that to get a little weight to get a little traction as the snow and ice come about us? Well, unless you're driving a pickup truck or a rear-wheel drive vehicle, okay, which you or yours is all four wheels, mm -hmm. but if you're driving a rear-wheel drive vehicle, you need a little weight back there. You need a little weight to help it out. Now, all the new cars have what they call traction control, and it won't let you spit out. You know how you used to run in, in the church parking lot and do donuts on Saturday morning? Absolutely, with yeah. <laughs> it was cool. Well, you can't do that with the new cars. They won't let you. You, I, you, you know what? I haven't done a donut in probably 35 40 years and but now you're going to aren't you because i put it in your head <laughs> you i'm like hey you know what that sounds fun and by the way young ones out there don't even go there okay we're just talking you know like guy to guy here you know safety first where that seatbelt oh come on take dad's car in the parking lot come you, on. <laughs> you, well it's got to be a big open parking lot and then it's fun you know i didn't realize that until you just said that for real wow that's pretty wild and and why is that is it because of the way the the uh, trucks and cars are made up well yeah the, the transmissions are such that you can't, they won't let you spin. They won't let you slip. Oh, okay. They, they, if they see the rear wheels going faster than the front wheels, they'll shut the transmission down. Holy cow. It's crazy, but that it's how it works. Well, very, very cool. Are you looking forward to uh, the new year? Obviously, I can't believe we're edging up on another uh, year. And when, when, it, when is your anniversary here? Is it literally, it's the first January week of January? 15th. Wow. Be one year. Holy cow. You know, and I got to tell you, you said something about winter. I got to tell you, all our listeners, they should tune in tomorrow for one reason. I'm going to debunk this whole thing about carjacking. Really? All this, all of a sudden, we have a huge rise in carjackings, and people are saying, oh, it's only because it's cold out. People are letting their cars run when they go into gas stations. I'm going to debunk that whole thing and tell you why. Okay. Tomorrow, we're going to we're going to spend some time and tell you why carjacking has become so popular. I am so looking forward to the uh, show tomorrow, 10 a.m. on WIMS, 11 a.m. on WHFB, intertwined with Big George tomorrow, and, of course, Jeff and Julie Santana on Burning Issues. It's going to be a fun time, so, George, it's oh, uh, looking forward to that. a fun Saturday, there. buddy. Man, we are packed, so I appreciate I it. it. Thank you, man. Appreciate all right. that you do. You keep up the great work. And, of course, Big George, the car guy, also on the live stream and Facebook Live, so a lot of great ways to watch and listen to you. I'll see you tomorrow, Rick. Happy motoring. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Big George, the car guy, AM 1420, WIMS. We are the talk of the South Shore. And I'll tell you, AM 1420, WIMS, Michigan City, a Gerard Media Company, streaming live at WIMSradio.com.